NNPC GMD Mili Kiari asked Nigerians not to worry about drop in U.S. oil price. Bank of Industry denies running a loan empowerment scheme. Federal government releases guidelines for the movement of agricultural produce. And the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria urges sector players to look inwards for raw materials. Well, hello and thanks for joining us on today's business. I am Mercy Frank. Now, today we have so much in store for you. So many things have been um, going on in, um, um, in, in the business sector all over the world. The oil price crash in the U.S., um, um, budget cuts, and people unsure and uncertain of what is happening in the future but well we're going to also have analysts that will be giving us insight into some of this issue so please we have a lot in stock for you but before we go on i want to say um covid19 is real please ensure that you wash your hands regularly um, under running water or use a hand sanitizer the best way to prevent it is to continue to um, practice social distancing well let's start with um what we have um, first here uh Experts are reacting to um, the inflation rate that was released um, yesterday by the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics. Uh, so we have um, a Professor Ken Ife who advised the federal government to direct its intervention to the provision of sufficient consumables as the price of food items are expected to rise further. Now, um, he was reacting to the marginal increase in the inflation rate for the month of March admins battles to contain the spread of coronavirus. So right now, we do not have that report, but subsequently, um, in, in this particular episode of today's business, we will bring the report to you. So we just move on um, to... Yes, to budgets. Um, the federal government has started close monitoring of the global oil markets um, following the free fall in the oil price, including Nigeria's Bonny Light, which price dropped from $12 to $5.30 on Tuesday. Now, the 2020 budget was first benchmarked at $57 per barrel and 2.3 million um, barrels per day, but later adjusted to $30 and 1.42 million barrels uh, per day because of the prolonged instability in the volatile um, market which made previous projections unattainable. Now, at the current $5.30 per barrel uh, uh, rate, Nigeria, which economy has been seriously affected by the coronavirus pandemic, needs an additional $24.07 to meet um, the 2020 budget target. Now, this has become a serious source of concern to experts and relevant government institutions. And there are indications that there may be a review of the budget again. However, special advisor to the Minister, Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, um, Mr. Yunusa Abdullahi, who confirmed the close monitoring of the ministry, ruled out another immediate budget review. Now, according to him, the ministry will, was still waiting for the response of the National Assembly to um, the earlier review announced by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, that is Mrs. Uh, Zainab Ahmed. All right, and now to other reactions um, to the U.S. slump um, in crude price. Despite the slump in the U.S. crude oil futures below zero dollar per barrel, quite quite threatening there. The group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and NPC, Mr. Milik Hiari, said Nigerians should not worry about the development because, according to him, it is not capable of impacting Nigeria's oil production. It will be recalled that on Monday, April 20, the U.S. crude oil price dropped to its worst level since New York Mercantile Exchange opened oil future trading in 1983. Now, according to the NNPC boss, the development does not reflect the real crude oil price, explaining that um, um, it is the trader's paper figure, uh, figure just showing the details at the close of their business for the month. Now, speaking further, Mr. Kiari disclosed that the situation which reflects the current position in the U.S market does not have any direct impact on the price of Brent crude um, oil bend which rose to about $28 um, per barrel before dropping to the current price 
um, to $26.24 um, per barrel on Monday. Now, following the slump in the price of crude oil in the international market from the, from the, um, from the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has called for strategic oil reserve in Nigeria. Now, in a statement signed by Atiku, he expressed pessimism that the turbulence in the oil market will be over soon. Now, according to him, the futures market for commodities is a turbulent one due to unforeseen hazards that come and go. Now, I quote him. He said, today, it is COVID-19. Tomorrow, it will be something else. It is time for Nigeria to protect her economy from being tossed to and fro by circumstances beyond our control. He continues to say, we must assert our sovereignty by exerting more influence over the global trade in crude oil and other futures. Uh, he says, I believe that the time is right for Nigeria to build a strategic crude oil reserve with massive storage capacity that can hold at least a month's worth of our OPEC production capacity. Um, he, he said, if we build such an infrastructure, we will not have to sell our crude at a production loss. We will be in a position to stockpile the product in our reserve until such a time as prices improve. I must have to say some um, experts, I don't know if experts really agree with, 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 with what he's saying, but let, let's see. And we'll go on with um, still in the slump in crude oil price in the global market. It has felt the need for Nigerians to stop crude oil exports and feed on local refineries to boost the exports of refined products and supplies of the fuel to industries. Now, following the dwindling oil revenue, Alanists have also urged policymakers to target taxes and other non oil revenues. Now, crude oil prices plunged again yesterday. That's, um, Tuesday and also on Monday as oil market panic extended into a secondary day with no end in sight to a swelling global crude glut as the COVID-19 pandemic has obliterated demand for fuel. Now facing the death of storage space and a dramatic 30% plunge in worldwide fuel demand, producers have kept selling oil aggressively. Now according to these experts, the most viable option um, is for the country to freeze oil exports and feed upcoming local refineries to facilitate exports of refined products, earn foreign exchange, and save local industries to the huge costs incurred on diesel for power supply. So much gloom everywhere. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll be speaking with, um, um, we'll be going to the interview session. Please stay with us. When it comes to live event coverage, no one does it better. With our team of professional engineers, on-site reporters, and experienced studio analysts, Silverbred's live broadcast team guarantees maximum coverage with a professional touch. Thanks to the joint effort of emergency. Back to you in the studio. Every event as it occurs live. So for your rallies, crusades, concerts, product launches, and other memorable events, contact us now at marketing at silverbirdgroup.com. That's marketing at silverbirdgroup.com. Com. Remember, whatever the event, whatever the time, and wherever the place, Silverbird's live broadcast team has got you covered. 
Social distancing is an important public health service that is critical in stopping the spread of the highly contagious coronavirus. Stay at least two meters away from anyone and avoid handshakes, hugs and kisses. And clearly stay far away from anyone who coughs or sneezes. This is a message from the Silverbird Group. You're welcome back. We'll continue with more stories. The Bank of Industry, BUI, has dissociated the organization from several online publications, mostly on social media, claiming that it is running a program called Bank of Industry Loan Empowerment for Entrepreneurs. This was disclosed by the Bank of Industry through posts on its Twitter handle and its Instagram page on Tuesday. Now, the BOI, in an important public notice to its customers, said, and I quote, Our attention has been drawn to several online publications, mostly on social media, claiming that Bank of Industry is running a program called Bank of Industry Loan Empowerment for Entrepreneurs. We wish to draw the attention of all concerned that no such program exists. Please do not fall victim to this scam. All right, Nigerians may have to brace for tougher times earlier declared by the nation's economic managers once the lockdown is relaxed as the realities of global supply chain disruption pressure on Nigeria as a result of demand for foreign exchange for the importation of petrol, food and other commodities are expected to further spike Infl inflationary trend. Now, for the seventh consecutive month, Nigeria's headline inflation rose at a faster pace, expanding by six basis points in March 2020 to 12.6% year on year, representing the highest level of price growth since April 2018. On a month on month basis, the headline inflation increased slightly by five basis points to 0.84%. Now, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, the lockdown in Abuja, Lagos, and Ungu states and various major disruptions in normal economic activities in several states that started in April 2020 could not have had any major impact on March 2020 inflation. However, the removal of subsidy disruptions in global supply chains as a result of the raging pandemic fall on oil prices, leading to drastic drop in government revenues. Industry observers expect further rise in inflation in the months to come. Now over to food security in uh, efforts to curtail food shortages and ensure 2020 crop production season is not hampered. As a result of the lockdown, the federal government on um, Tuesday unfolded new strategies to facilitate free movement of food and agricultural produce nationwide. A meeting held by the ministers of Agriculture, Defense, Interior and Police Affairs in response to COVID-19 in Abuja resolved that government officials at levels worked within the framework of the federal COVID-19 19 emergency action response plans with relevant law enforcement agencies developing modalities for ensuring easy movement of foodstuffs, livestock, and farm inputs. Now, a communique issued at the end of the meeting and signed by the Agriculture Minister Sabo Nanuno also directed all relevant security agencies to work in a coordinated way with clear instructions and directives to law enforcement agents at the various checkpoints. This is to facilitate the passage of vehicles, conveying foodstuff, perishable farm products, livestock and farm imputes without compromising national security or health measures. Now, the meeting also resolved that law enforcement agents should liaise with states and government and local government officials in determining modalities for facilitating the movement of foodstuff to and from markets during the lockdowns. Now, specifically to Ogun State, uh, farmers may be in for good deals ahead of this year's farming season, all things being equal. Now, government in the state has taken delivery of farming inputs to be distributed to farmers across the state soon. As ever, but News 24 correspondent Olusheg Mulukoga reports. Although it is not the best of time as farmers who are preparing for the farming season as ravaging COVID-19 pandemic continues to clog the progress of preparation. The government in Ogun State is steadily getting things to shape towards the commencement of improved farming exercise and full implementation of ANCOR's borrowers program initiated by current administration in partnership with Nigerian Central Bank. With existing local farmers, good number of young persons have been registered under the scheme. So this is probably the first time 
uh, in the history of our state that we are linking farmers practically to land input credit. So we are going ahead with our plan for food security in Ogun State. According to the commissioner, government is ready to give maximum support to farmers to boost local production and give encouragement. He says inputs, seedlings and fertilizers are now available at no cost to farmers. And when we certify land clearing, then uh, we will deliver this to their farm. So it's part of the package, the state government package, to link young people to input so that they can uh, farm and make profit. He expects facilities, particularly warehouses and farmlands across the state, including over a hundred hectares of land at Ojeria Bekuta under preparation. He assures seamless process or through. And farmers are going to be tilling their land, they are going to be um, tending their crop, and they are going to be supplying to the factory. The commissioner monitors level of compliance of traders in a share of farmers' markets in line with social distancing and guidelines to curtail the spread of COVID-19 in Ogun markets. From Abekuta in Ogun State, Olusha. Following trade restrictions in some of Nigeria's trading partners due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the president of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Mr. Mansour Ahmed, has advised manufacturers in the country to look inwards. He said that with this disruption in supply chain, manufacturers now have to look inwards for sourcing of materials. He added that initially there was a restriction from India for pharmaceutical raw materials, but they have relaxed that now. Now, every manufacturer has to think through and find ways they can remain afloat. Manso explained that there is the need to source locally made uh, raw materials to see if it can be possible because there is a lot of materials that can be substituted. Now to Maritime, President of Nigerian Ship Owners Association, so Dr. Mark George Oyung, has revealed that the shipping sector has the capacity to drive 90% of the national economy if there are sufficient state flagships. He also expressed his confidence during an interview on Tuesday um, with the recent Nigeria liquefied natural gas train seven $10 billion FID deal, which he said is broad-based and was optimistic that local shipping operators can assess 30% sub-business window from the Train 7 financial deal. Now, it became public knowledge recently that Sun failed to deliver on its sea time exposure contract for cadets of Maritime Academy of Nigeria or on um, the training agreements between the MAN and Sun was an experimental initiative that was bound to have teething issues. Now, the vessels that were to be used for the training were mostly double bunk vessels and uh, there was no way um, they could put men and women together in the same room. Most of the female cadets could not go on board for training due to the way the vessels were configured. And still on maritime issues, the Nigerian Maritime Ad Administration and Safety Agency in Imasa and the Nigerian Navy have concluded plans to have a regime, um, a regime of improved information sharing with a view to integrating the Command, Control, Computer Communication and Information Center, otherwise known as the C4I Center, of the Deep Blue Sea Project backed by the Navy's Falcon Eye. Now speaking in Lagos during a visit by the flag um, officer commanding Western Naval Command, Rear Admiral Oladili Bamidili Daji to Nimasa, Director General of NIMASA, Dr. Bashir Jamo, noting the strategic importance of the cooperation, stated that both agencies have mandates that are interwoven. Now, Jamo explained that since NIMASA is not an arm bearing organization, it was important for it to support the Navy with necessary platforms for it to be able to optimally safeguard Nigeria waters, which falls under NIMASA's functional area. 
Now, in a bit of ensure compliance to health safety guidelines at medical coronavirus pandemic for port users and other stakeholders, Nigeria Shippers Council, NSC, has assigned some officials to terminal operators and shipping companies. Now, according to the council, this will guarantee the continuation of safe port um, operations for handling essential services as directed by President Muhammad Buhari. A press release signed by the management yesterday said the council has assigned its officers to the various comp shipping companies and terminals to assist in ensuring that all safety and health regulations issued by the authorities are strictly ahead to during these times. And to insurance issues, um, Nigeria's listed insurance have raked in a combined 1.5 trillion naira over the past six years. But analysts see the coronavirus pandemic weighing on the future revenue. Now, the breakdown of the figures as gleaned from the 2019 audited financial statement of the 18 largest quoted insurance showed gross premium return increased by 19.57% to 26 billion naira in December 2019 from 231.57%. 6 billion naira from the previous year. That compares with a 1.16% premium growth in 2015 financial year, a period that coincided with economic downturn brought about um, by the sharp drop in the price of oil that tipped the country into its first recession in 25 years. Now, the chief operating officer of Old Mutual Insurance, Afalabi Lawa, reacting to the figure, said premium incomes will not grow this year because financial services move in the direction of the GDP. He added that the coronavirus pandemic will undermine operating performance. Uh, yes, that's much for it on insurance. Now, to currency uh, between the Naira and the dollar, um, the pressure on the foreign exchange intensified on Tuesday as the dollar was trading at 420 Naira at the black market after oil price crashed to $20 per barrel. Uh, the price of Brent crude has fallen to as low as $20 per barrel as on Tuesday following the outbreak of coronavirus pandemic globally. With the current exchange rate, it implies that the Nigerian currency is losing 2 Naira 50 kobo per dollar compared to $417 50 kobo traded the previous day. And now to equities um, markets performance. The transaction on the Nigeria Stock Exchange continued on a downturn yesterday as more blue chip stocks depreciated in price, resulting to a further decrease in market capitalization by 151 billion naira. Now, Tuesday, OSHA index fell by 290.449 points or 1%. 0.27% to 22,629.92 points, points. Yeah. Accordingly, investors lost 151 billion naira in value as market capitalization declined to 11.979794 trillion naira. Now, the downturn was in, impacted by losses recorded in medium and large value stocks, amongst which were Guaranteed Trust Bank, Julius Berger, um, Zenith Bank, Lafarge. Africa, uh, Lafarge Africa, Separate Petroleum Development Company, PLC. Uh, on a sad note, and well, the, on a sad note, we, the founder of Globe Motors and one of Nigeria's foremost car dealers, Willy really, um, Anumundu, has died at the age of 68 on Tuesday in Lagos. Now, according to an announcement made on Tuesday afternoon, Anumundu had health issues and was due to travel to Germany for treatment and unfortunately died. Now, before his death, he was tested negative for COVID-19. He survived by his wife and four children. The same may his soul rest in peace. And that's it on to this business. I believe it has been an awesome time. Uh, before we go, I want to remind you that um, COVID-19 is real. Ensure you wash your hands with soap under um, running water regularly or use a hand sanitizer. Now ensure that you keep social distancing because that is one of the sure ways to avoid contracting the virus. Until we'll come your way again tomorrow, my name is Mr. Frank. You'll be watching to this business. Please stay safe.